I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I just want to make sure the phone is working fine today. I think that's all. Dolly, would you please do roll? Supervisor Flaherty? Here. Councilman Cody? Present. Councilman Robin? Here. Councilman Cahill? Here. Councilman Dean? Here. Town Attorney Genesee? Present. Okay. Um, first order of business is we have the minutes from the organizational meeting on December 30th, 2020. Uh, I've reviewed them. I would make a motion to approve them. Second. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilwoman Cataldi? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilman Dean? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, now, I didn't see who came in this week for bills. It was you, Bill. It was you again. You I snuck came in, in today. I looked over the bills and recommend that we approve them as submitted by the director of finance. Second. Second. Councilman Abbott. Aye. Councilman Dean. Aye. Councilman Cahill. Aye. Councilman Dean. Aye. Councilwoman Cataldi. Aye. Supervisor Flaherty. Aye. And uh, yeah, this is a, a a bitter one tonight because where I did go over the prepaid warrants. I've kind of gotten used to in the last year that Chris Halligan sends them to me, and she's so prompt and always at the same time and day, and Chris's last day is Friday. Um, she's retiring. so She had a big smile on her face today. I bet she did. I, I stopped in to see her yesterday, and yeah. I said I'm going to miss that Monday morning email from you because yeah. it always came promptly on Monday morning. It's unbelievable, week. like yes. clockwork. Mm -hmm. So, uh, But... Uh, as usual, uh, the prepaid warrants is submitted by the Director of Finance were in order, and I make a motion that we approve those. Second. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Councilman Cataldi? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilman Dean? Aye. Okay. Now, um, the agenda item for the public hearing um, resolution actually has uh, two derivations to it. Uh, one, we are going to um, set these the public hearing for the board meeting on February 18th. Um, and it's uh, Attorney Genesee, I guess you would give the clarification on this, but to do it by the book, the number of days. Uh, there's basically, we've gone from one to two uh, resolutions regarding the subject. Uh, the reason being that the request is made not only for a PDD, which has been granted in the past, and I'm not going to get into that right now uh, because uh, everything that has been granted in the past here has lapsed uh, by virtue of time. But um, the uh, the PDD does require, or the the imposition of a PDD does require a public hearing under 229-19.1 uh, uh, of our town code. Also, the reason for the application of the PDD is uh, for the building of senior housing. Now, senior housing is permitted in the district, which is uh, still OP, uh, office park, but only with a special use permit or a special permit. In order to obtain that special permit, the town board has to refer the matter to the planning board for their review and consideration and recommendation, mm -hmm. if any. Uh, I've prepared two resolutions for tonight. The first is setting the public hearing regarding the PDD. The second is if the, the town board wishes to do so, you can also tonight make a referral of the project uh, as because you know what it is, you know the subject matter of the project to the planning board. Uh, that would expedite the whole process a little bit. Uh, the only issue I have or the question I have is whether or not we can conduct the public hearing on the 4th of February, which is, was our plan, or the 18th, and that has to do with the timing of the public hearing because sometimes some public hearings require a minimum of, of 10 days but no more than 20 out from the meeting. Uh, but also uh, uh, sometimes permit five days and no more than 10 days prior to the hearing. 
uh, looking at uh, Town Law 108, uh, does look like it does permit um, does permit uh, that we could do it within five and ten days. So uh, our normally we do a ten to twenty day uh, public hearing, uh, except for certain town laws that we uh, find the need to do it quicker. But uh, I'm uh, in looking at, at 108 of the town law. I believe we could probably do this um, next week. We could publish it next week. So if, if you want to have it on the fourth, we can have it on the fourth. Okay, because the Webster Herald would be the Wednesday. January 27th edition for a public hearing on Thursday, February 4th, which would be eight calendar days, seems to fall in that five to ten days. The one thing I just want to make sure of, Charlie, I certainly understand the resolution to set the, the public hearing for the, um, uh, the PDD, but as far as also doing a resolution to pass it on to the planning board, I, I don't want to give any impression that we wouldn't be passing it on to the planning board through the second resolution until I, I I agree with you. I agree with you because the the sending it on to the planning board assumes not only assumes you you state it right in the resolution that you have found that it meets certain um, objectives that it that it's conceptually sound that encourages sound development et cetera et cetera. So I think it's probably something you'd want to hold off on until after the public. I, I'm hearing. glad that you said that because obviously <clears throat> I just don't want the wrong impression from anybody that is watching this meeting or watches it at a later time taped thinking that doing both those resolutions tonight make it sound like this is already a, a done deal that the board is going to approve a the PDD after the public hearing. I, that, that couldn't be further from the truth. Sure, and I think it's probably um, apt in this case uh, for a couple of reasons because this matter actually has been before the town and planning boards over the years, or at least a development of this particular project. Time has lapsed, development did not take place, so therefore they have to uh, reappear and and reapply for the uh, for the application of the PDD and if the PDD is granted then apply for the special use permit for for senior housing okay so the one resolution that was on the agenda is the one we're doing and it's for February 4th we came full circle it sounds like um, so if you'll uh, be patient with me. I'll read this as quickly as possible. Uh, this proposed resolution of the Webster Town Board scheduling a public hearing to consider the development of plan of the lands on the south side of Publishers Parkway north of State Road 104 known as tax account number 079.06-01-32.122-0. As a progressive commercial overlay district, uh, the acronym PDD. At a regular meeting of the Webster Town Board of the Town of Webster, Monroe County, held in the Town Board meeting room at 7.30 p.m. on January 21st, all five board members were in attendance. Whereas Taylor, the builders, is the, is the contract vendee of real property located on the south side of Publishers Parkway, west of Hard Road and north of State Route 104, consisting of 24.6 acres known as tax account number 079.06-01-32.122 and whereas the lands are in an OP core area north office park and whereas the owner owners propose that the lands be developed as a PDD progressive commercial overlay district pursuant to Webster Town Code section 225-21 and that the town board approve a PDD's development plan for said property and authorize the planning board to conduct site plan review of such property and whereas an application has been made to develop said property as PDD Progressive Development Overlay District and approve a PDD development plan. Now, therefore, be it resolved that a public hearing be conducted at a regular meeting of the Town Board of the Town of Webster to be held at the Town Board meeting room in the Town of Webster on the fourth day of February 2021 at 7.30 p.m. to consider the following lands to be developed as a PDD Progressive Development Overlay District all those tracts and parcels of land located in the town of Webster, County of Monroe, State of New York, consisting of 24.6 acres located on the south side of Publishers Parkway, west of Hart Road, and north of State Route 104, and that the requirements of New York State Environmental Quality Review Act, Seeker, 
will be considered at the time of such public hearing and that the applicant shall submit the environmental assessment form EAF to the town board prior to the public hearing and that the town clerk give notice of such public hearing by publishing in the official town newspaper a certified copy of this resolution by posting a copy thereof on the town clerk's bulletin board not less than five days nor more than 10 days before such hearing. That is the motion I'm making. Second. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilman Dean? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilman Calgary? Aye. Um, Dolly? Thank you. Alrighty. Okay. Thanks, Charlie. Uh, next up, um, pretty happy about this one. Barry, I bet you you're pretty happy about this one, too. Yeah. Um, and I just wanted to make sure before we get into any voting on this resolution, um, the, the, there was 14 different PDF attachments of the general orders that the town board reviewed that um, I think they in aggregate were 101 pages. Uh, these are the general orders of the special police, but they were, you could tell by the different PDFs that they've been updated as of January 1st, 2021. Um, it was a collaborative effort of the Webster Police Department and the special police, and because the Webster Police Department leadership um, was involved in that and, and it is said that they approved these uh, general orders, um, the, the, the special police will, uh, from here on, report to the police leadership team, to the, to the chief. Um, that's different from what has transpired, I think, the last several years. The special police uh, chief reported directly to the supervisor. Um, and I just, but then when they were out in the field, that reporting went over to the police. The chief. To the chief. So it really is the truth. The chief of the special police, the chief of the Webster Police Department, Barry, I think you as the liaison, I certainly think. It made more sense to have a continuity where that, that always was directly uh, in peacetime when they're in meetings. They report to the police department, but then it makes it so much easier when they're out in the field when they have to switch. They're not switching over anymore to the right? So. Sorry if that's TMI, but I feel as though that that's an important clarification. Uh, with that being said, and because I'm pretty certain that the town board, uh, you know, had you know plenty of uh, advance notice to read the general orders, if they, uh, I haven't heard any problems with it. Um, I, I'm making a resolution to approve the general orders of the special police of the town of Webster. Second. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Councilman Dean? Aye. Councilman Cato? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilwoman Cataldi? Aye. And I got to ask, I mean, and Patty, I don't know if this is a question for you or whatever, but where now are those general orders that are updated as of January 2021? Are those a public record? <clears throat> or are those. Never seen them. You're not asking me. I, I'm sorry, not Patty, Dolly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Charlie, any insights on that? What was the question? Was I the believe supervisor? the general orders would be in possession of the police chief. I, I would think and so. And his administrators. Okay. That's where the general orders would be. Especially now. <laughs> that, 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 that Especially they're under the Charlie? same jurisdiction. Yeah. Yes. He should have okay. Them. He'll have some. Yeah. All right. Well. Next order of business, I guess better late than never. It cost me a cup of coffee this morning with Mr. Barone, but uh, he has graciously um, accepted to be the chair of the Zoning Board of Appeals for the year 2021. So I'd like to propose a resolution that Barry Barone be appointed chair to the Webster Zoning Board of Appeals for the calendar year ending 12 31 21. Second. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Councilwoman Capaldi? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilman Dean? Aye. 
That was well worth the cup of coffee. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's a cheap date, I told him. You know, I, uh... <laughs> now, this one, Mr. Herbst. I'm going to consider that it was not a practical joke last year on January 2nd when at my first board meeting where I was nervous as could be and I just happened to have to do three for one. Uh, uh, what, what do we have? The swearing in of uh, Bill and John and myself and then we had the org meeting and then at that third meeting that night was this same resolution and I read off the dollar amount and it was about $200,000 high. Ignominious start to my term, huh? I noticed that within Highway Law 284 to spend the highway funds in 281 or in uh, 2021, that you can't make this up. We sent out, as we try to, two to three days in advance of these meetings, the supporting documentations of these resolutions to the board members so they can be prepared. <laughs> the the dollar amount that was sent out to the board members uh, was two million two hundred and eight thousand nine hundred and eighty four thousand. I think you must have sharpened your pencil with uh, the help with, of Mr. Adams with the help of <laughs> Paul Adams. And I just want to make sure before we read this. All right. Once bitten, twice shy. At least the dollar amount came down this, this time. Oh, it came down last time, too. I just read the old one. Okay. The, the, it is $2,038,044. Correct. Okay. Which, from the draft we sent out to the board a couple days ago, is about $170,000 less Correct. than what we sent to Bill, Barry, Patty, and John. Correct. Okay. We're good. Yeah. Two oh thirty eight oh forty four. This resolution, I mean, <laughs> I can't say I'm a rookie anymore. I would imagine that Barry knows this off the top of his head from being in the highway department for as many years as you were. Um, and I would imagine the rest of the board members know exactly what this is too. But Joe, if you wouldn't mind Dazzle us with what we're looking at here. The, well, it's 284 is the highway law, which you have to authorize, even though it's already in the budget, as far as what I'm going to expend in highway repairs and maintenance. It doesn't include leaf pickup or snow ops. It's what I'm going to do in um, chip sealing, crack sealing, um, could be patching, tree removal, uh, gutters, catch basin, crossovers, storm. It's pretty much the nuts and bolts of what I'm gonna to do to the roads itself. So in that 2038,044 is what I'm going to do just with the, net, the road network and I think anything and everything incorporated within the road. Okay. <clears throat> and the way I understand that, and actually, like I said, Barry, <laughs> once we do this resolution and, and a lot appropriate, whatever you wanna call it, that money to the highway superintendent, Lockdown. There is there's no messing with that money. There is no budget transfers and things later on. To That's pretty much my guideline. There's within the network itself. I can adjust not the dollar amount, but I can adjust where I'm going to target it. What I do is give you a preliminary what our target is. But depending on the winter, frost heave. Um, we've had roads before, like three or four years ago. Wall Road fell apart with no warning whatsoever. So it, at, as long as I stay within that 2038-044, I can reallocate monies within that um, if something falls apart premature. Right. But right now, we have all the way out to 2028, our roads are on a schedule, um, so we know roughly, short of uh, inclement weather or more frost heave, where we're going with the money. If need be, he could always come in and request a budget amendment right. Right. if he needed additional money to do a repair that it was not expected. Sure, sure. Um, well, I would be remiss if I didn't say that uh, uh, another bitter thing. This will be the last time, Mr. Herbst, you'll be sitting in front of us uh, as the highway superintendent going for this 284, isn't it? I'll have a couple more meetings. Last, I, 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 last time for 284. For, for 284 for the annual Correct. because 
Right. Joe, is it uh, official? Is February 26th? Was it something I said? <laughs> what did you say the other day? This means yeah. nothing? <laughs> uh, no. I think that was quote unquote your, your quote. <laughs> yeah. No, Joe is, uh, Joe is retiring on February 26th. And um, we're going to miss you. Congratulations. You know? Yes. Congratulations, Joe. Thank you. I'm going to have to find another person to have practical jokes with. That's going to be tough. <laughs> I'm sure somebody will keep you on Yeah, those. I guess. But, uh, all right. Well, with that in mind, I'm proposing a resolution for Highway Law 284 to spend highway funds in 2021 in the amount of $2,038,044. Second. Supervisor Clarity? Aye. Councilwoman Capaldi? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilman Dean? Aye. Okay. We have one last one and we have a call in on this. Mr. Zimmerman? Hello? Okay. okay. <laughs> I hope we didn't keep you on hold too long, or um, I guess in retrospect, we maybe should have put you number one on the agenda so you didn't have to hang out, but not too bad. Um, so this is a, a resolution for an industrial use permit for Packrat, a storage container business that is looking to relocate to Bolter Industrial Park in Webster. Um, Josh, I, I guess between you and Mr. Zimmerman, you could probably explain um, where we're at here. Sure. Um, so 1-800 Packrat is a storage container business. Uh, they're currently located at a facility in Henrietta, and they're looking to relocate to Bolter Industrial Park here in Webster. Um, basically, they're in the business of providing those storage pods that you see delivered to you know homes and businesses and they're able to uh, store items and then the pod gets removed and stored uh, at a warehouse location and the empty containers are usually stored outside of the building so uh, th I believe they're looking for some additional space and uh, looking to relocate to Webster so I think on the line we have uh, Mr. Zimmerman who's an attorney representing 1-800-PACRAT, uh, and we also have, um, excuse me, I'm sorry, we have uh, Rob on the call. He's, he's affiliated. Richard, Richard, are you on the line? Yes, I am. Okay. okay. Hi. And Richard. And Richard is affiliated with the Bolter Industrial Park. Okay. Um, of the property at 1720 Bolter Industrial Parkway. Okay. And, and Richard, I'm sorry, what, what is your last name? Berry, like strawberry. Hey, B-E-R-R-Y. And then, Mr. Zimmerman, you are legal counsel for for Packrat? Um, I, I am, and I, I, I wanted to address the point about wait, making us wait till last. I, I actually... We be fine with that. I, I'm a councilman in Shaker Heights here outside of Cleveland, which is where I'm located. So this is how I would be spending my evening anyway. <laughs> See, we got to get you a hobby, my friend. <laughs> I just appreciate you letting me you letting me call in. Sure. Um, well, uh, certainly based on uh, Josh Artuzzo's description. Um, I don't know if the, the board members have any questions for Mr. Barry or Mr. Zimmerman on this. No, I don't. Okay. Um, well, then, I guess, uh, unless uh, Mr. Barry or Mr. Zimmerman have any other comments, I'm going to just read the resolution proposed and we'll vote. All right. Okay, this is a resolution of the Webster Town Board to amend an industrial use permit granted for lands commonly known as tax account number 066.03-1-6.115 located at 1720 Bolter Industrial Parkway 
At a regular meeting of the Webster Town Board of the Town of Webster, Monroe County, New York, held in the Town Board Meeting Room on January 21st, 2021, all five board members were present. The following resolution was offered and moved to its adoption. Whereas Wickerwood LP owns lands commonly designated by tax account number 066.03-1-6.115, also known as 1720 Bolter Industrial Parkway in the town of Webster comprising 13.94 acres. And whereas the Webster Town Board previously granted an industrial use permit to Tyco Plastics on July 20th, 2018, and to Lycycle Corporation on July 1st, 2020 for the same premises. And whereas 1-800-PAC-RAT proposes to further utilize the property by housing full storage containers internally within the building and empty containers externally on the loading dock with a battery storage and recycling facility on the premises. And whereas the structure is located in the I dash N industrial district and whereas pursuant to Webster code section 225-20-A the use is permitted use in the I dash N industrial district and whereas pursuant to Webster town code section 225-20-D uh, subparagraph one an industrial use permit is required before the commencement of any use in an industrial district and whereas the building is pre-existing and the site plan was previously received by the town board and whereas an industrial use permit had already been granted for this property by the Webster Town Board and whereas an environmental assessment form has been received and reviewed by the town board and the town board has designated this action as a type two and will not have a significant adverse impact on the environment. And whereas New York State Environment Quality, Environmental Quality Control Review Act procedures have been complied with and completed, and whereas this application for an amended industrial use permit for 1720 Bolter Industrial Parkway for the benefit of 1800 Packrack was approved by the fire marshal, now therefore it resolved that this proposed industrial use is adequate and consistent with safety, health, and welfare of the community and that the applicant be granted an amended industrial use permit for the purpose of recycling battery. Um, storage uh, units. Storage unit. Sorry that's, about that's that. That's a typo, sorry about uh, that, Mr. Supervisor. For the purpose of storage units at 1720 Bolter Industrial Parkway, town of Webster. That is my motion. Second. Supervisor Clary. Aye. Aye. Councilman Dean? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilman Aye. Okay. Well, you got a 5-nothing vote on that, gentlemen. Uh, thanks for being patient. You have your industrial use permit. Thank you so much. We appreciate the consideration. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Take care. Okay. I'll sign off. Okay. Well, that uh, concludes our formal meeting tonight. Um, <laughs> I'll give five minutes uh, for call-ins um, and then we'll just go around the room for uh, any parting comments, questions from uh, people in attendance. Uh, Superintendent of the Highways, Mr. Herbst, Joe, any no, we're, we're modeling forward. Mother Nature has been extremely kind. We're uh, not even at a foot of snow yet, so, oh, jinx which us. is unheard of. So let's not even discuss what, what, it. Come on, Joe. <laughs> That's like in the seventh inning saying, hey, we got a no-hitter going. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know what February, so you know what's coming. <laughs> you know what February is going to bring us. Yeah, yeah. And, and Joe, and I know you've heard me say this, and I mean, I, maybe since you're going to have a lot of time on your hands now after the 26th, when the world opens back up, whatever that looks like and whenever that is with COVID and all that. Uh, I think we have now, we're about 15, 16 uh, people that have retired from the town of Webster since around March of 2020, really when COVID started. These 15 people, including yourself, Joe, I, I don't think are getting the proper send off for the 20 to 30 years of service that they all gave. So. Um, and I'm as serious as a heart attack on this one. We will have a big shindig. We will have a big shindig. Uh, I've talked to Chris Bilo. It's probably going to be over at the rec center, open air tent, you know. We just got to gauge when the world opens back up. But, you know, anybody who retired during COVID 
is going to be invited back with families and all that, and it's uh, we're going to honor you the proper way. To be recognized. You bet. You bet. Should like to be the biggest uh, town picnic in a long, long time. You got that right. Bryce's yes. last Herbst uh, family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, careful when you invite family. Uh, family, <laughs> uh, immediate family. Yeah. Uh, oh, <laughs> yes. Damn. <laughs> um, Billy, I'm just sorry to see Joe go. He's done a great job while he's been here, and good to work with. Yeah. Okay. Barry, congratulations, Joe. Thank you. Hasn't hit yet, obviously. <laughs> I'm going to be busy. Oh, you will. Well, he's still going to be around for a little bit, so I don't think we should say our goodbyes tonight. But <laughs> yeah, no. Congratulations. Well, still, still got a month. Is, yeah, he's got to be coming back for permits and stuff. Yeah. So. yeah. 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 Well, I got a lot of them lined up already, but yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Patty, anything? I don't have anything. I don't have any updates to add. Okay. You know I saved mm -hmm. you for last, Dolly. <laughs> Charlie. Well, I, I want to I'll pile on to the uh, uh, congratulations to Joe. He's been uh, really a pleasure to work with as well. And, and uh, uh, one of the things that uh, we got now is uh, we have him as a, uh, I guess he can be considered a courtroom expert now that we've got him testifying a few <laughs> times. So uh, anyway, Joe, that's another thing you can add on to your resume and uh, Not that I hire yourself that out if you want. <laughs> <clears throat> Josh? Well, going along those lines, I just want to thank Joe for all of the uh, knowledge that he shared with me since I started last year. And uh, if I can retain a quarter of everything that you've taught me, <laughs> I'd be doing good. So I appreciate it. Thanks, Josh. And I got to, I mean, because didn't, didn't he early on uh, grab you for a beer or something and talk you off the ledge about that test you were going to have to take? He did. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you for talking <laughs> him off the ledge. <laughs> Speaking of being talked off the ledge, John. <laughs> What's that? Where did that lead in come from? You can, you can interpret that any way you want. <laughs> yeah. I don't have anything new. Um, I do want to say that... Uh, my interactions with Joe through the years have been very enlightening. Um, I don't think any question I've ever had to ask Joe that he didn't know the answer very specifically. And I don't, you're probably one of the fastest talking humans I've ever met, <laughs> which is why I would re have to have him repeat himself. But it's always been a joy and very educational. Um, I'm working with you, Joe, and talking to you. and. You know, I'm just sad that I didn't have more time to spend and, and draw from from all your knowledge because it, it, it's it's amazing to, just to listen to you talk um, with what education you've learned over the years. It's just incredible, and you know, and what an asset that you've been to this town and to 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 new board members, to to Josh and, and to Tom. Um, I think that you've you've helped shape a lot of what is, is trans, transpiring right now um, in the DPW and the highway, and mm -hmm. I just thank you so very, very much for that. Thank you. And, and Jen, you know, it's funny you say that because I think I met with Joe at the highway department four times uh, in late November through December of 2019 before I took office. So I was not, on January 1st, totally starting from a standstill. I had a lot of You'd help me a lot during that, and I really appreciate that. And the other thing I would say is that, and Barry, you would attest to this too, I would hope. The highway department's a great career. Come on, anybody watching this, get your grandchildren or your children that are in their 20s. This is, think about this as a career. It's a wonderful place it, to work. It is. It is. It's Interesting, doing <clears throat> different things. Just when you get, think you're getting tired of a season, like leaf season or something, Mother Nature changes it around, rolls it around, and throws you another element. It's a, it's a change in the variety is what keeps it uh, there, but the, the guys are phenomenal. And even if you're doing the work, the same work for several days in a row, it's on different roads. It's a yeah. different, different atmosphere, different, different places. So it's, you know, <clears throat> there's a lot, a lot of change. So a lot of career opportunity there. For sure. Yep. Well, Dolly. Congratulations, John. Thank you. <laughs>
Just busy collecting taxes. Yes, you are. <laughs> yep. Well, um, I, I, and one last thing I would say is that, you know, obviously, uh, I think for, I can speak for all the people in the room here tonight. Our heart goes out, prayers to the, the family members of the three National yeah. Guardsmen who uh, perished last night in Menden. Um, you know, tragic. but uh, tragic. it is, it really is. And uh, yeah. so with that being said, I hopefully will get you all home a little earlier than you might have thought. This meeting is adjourned. Thank mm -hmm. you.